Hi friends, in this video we are creating a multi-vendor food ordering system like Zomato, Swiggy, Uber Eats, etc. with GPS enabled and fully functional website. In this section we are also discussing about the delivery app and app for a restaurant owners for managing their store easily. And it is totally free, the app is totally free and the best thing is it's completely built in wordpress and it is gps friendly see and it is very beautifully designed and it has a lot of functions and you can add tags categories etc for your restaurant a person can contact the store owners restaurant owners and they can add to cart the product and they can check out and you can also put various options over there for the cash payment system actually this is a demo set so i am putting only cash on delivery and you have you will get a restaurant manager app and a delivery app for free so watch the video till the end in order to do this first you have to buy a domain and hosting this domain and hosting i am buying from hostinger.in and check whether your domain name is available or not and click on search and if your domain is available click on add to cart and we cut and check out we have to buy a hosting also so select your hosting and choose your plan and click on add to cart and here you can adjust the time length once you finish that click on check out now and you can log in with your social media network account google facebook etc once you log in you can pay with this payment methods UPI, Paytm, Paypal, etc. Once you have finished the payment method, you can go to your control panel Okay, once you enter the control panel, then your control panel will be look like this and we have to install wordpress and just scroll down and select this auto installer option select the auto installer option and click on wordpress and type the username password etc admin email address etc your website name and everything you can be added here and click on install and wait for some time to get installed your website is is installed just click on that button now you can see your website is live and this is a default wordpress website and now we can customize everything from the wordpress dashboard itself just enter into your wordpress dashboard just typing wp-login 
dot.php and you can enter your dashboard once you enter into your dashboard you will see a theme option click on upload theme just choose the theme the link i will give in the description box just install that theme and click on activate and wait for some time to activate and you have to install these plugins just click on begin installing plugins and select all the plugins and select install and click on apply and wait for some time to get the install the plugin and once the plugin is installed just activate all the plugins and all our plugins has been activated and our website is looking like this now and we have to install the demo content in order to do this click on appearance click on theme setup and select click on start and click on install install child theme you have to install that click on install and wait for the installation and you have to import the demo content there are various demos are available you can choose one demo and click on import and wait for some time to get importing the demo once you finish that we can check our website click on view our website see all the demos has been successfully imported and everything works fine all banners products has been imported and all the images has been also imported and now go to the woocommerce settings and select your country where your product is selling just select the country and select the specific country and choose the country over here and you can disable and enable the shipping and shipping calculations and choose your current currency and click on save changes once you finish that go to your payment settings and turn on the cash on delivery option and click on save changes and remaining all other settings you can be changed i'm leaving as it is because it's a demo site you can change according to your choice and click on advanced and check all the settings has been correct or not by default everything is okay you can be changed according to your choice now click on permalinks and select the permalink and select this post name and for product permalinks also can be changed here select the default permalinks for the products and click on save changes and just refresh and check the permalinks just refresh and see our permalinks has been changed and it is default WordPress permalink. Now go to your plugin settings and type WCFM. And install and activate all the three plugins which is Frontend Manager, 
മാർക്കറ്റ് പ്ലേസ് ആൻഡ് ഡബ്ല്യൂ സി ഫി എഫ് എം മെമ്പർഷിപ്പ് ഇൻസ്റ്റോൾ ആൻഡ് ആക്ടിവേറ്റ് ഓൾ ദിസ് ത്രീ പ്ലഗിൻസ് ആൻഡ് ജസ്റ്റ് ആക്ടിവേറ്റ് ദ പ്ലഗിൻസ് ഓൺ ദ പ്ലഗിങ് സെറ്റിംഗ്സ് ഇൻ ഓർഡർ ടു ഡൂ ദിസ് ജസ്റ്റ് ഗോ ടു ദ പ്ലഗിങ്സ് എഗെയിൻ ഇൻസ്റ്റോൾ പ്ലഗിൻസ് and select on inactive and select all the plugins and just click on activate and click on apply once the plugins are activated you can go to your wc fm plugin settings and you can change all the settings as you are seeing the video and you can also change according to your choice all the settings you can be changed according to your choice and wcfm after that click on save and geo location by default open street map is available so you can enable and disable all the options enable auto filter means the gps enabled shop will be shown there and default map default location and click on save changes after everything works click on order settings and you can disable and enable everything commission setups if a product sale a commission will come to our account and select that also once you finished everything just click on save and you can change all uh, withdrawal settings payment settings shipping settings refund settings review settings dashboard style you can change the colors etc notifications and store opening hours and everything you can be changed here and to add a vendor or a restaurant just click on add store vendor and type a username and email for the restaurants and you can type their email address over there so the password the login username and password will be sent to their registered email address you can add a store name a store name you can be added and you can add a store logo banner etc just add a logo and a banner for the restaurant owners and you can also add a banner mobile banner just selecting a banner for the website it select and you can give the short de- description store list banner 
and all other settings can be changed here for the restaurants the store location store address country etc just type the state or country and you can find the location of your restaurant over here and choose the right place and just drag and drop the icon or to the right place so the customers can find our store easily and all other settings you can be changed and click on submit or save once you finish that you can add as much custom store owners there and now we can design our website just click on edit with WP bakery you can change all the designs and patterns over here just click on that any layout you have to change just click on there and select the category and click on save changes like this you can change all the categories change all the categories according to your choice and after finishing that click on save changes and click on update you can change the banners also here please make sure that all the sizes are correct for the replacing image Just upload the new images over there and click on select and set image for the new banner and click on save changes like this you can change all the banners over here and you can change all the countdown timer and all other options here you can add title subtitle etc once you finish that you can refresh and your site has been fully changed to the new theme and we can change the logo here on customize click on that customize option and here you can change your header footer etc click on header configuration and you can upload the logo over here make sure the logo size is correct as on the demo just select the demo over there and click on select and change all the settings according to your choice type a name for your website a tagline for the website once you finish that you can also add a image for the site title just upload any image and click on select 
just cropping the image and click on publish once you finish that you can add new posters you can edit all the posters on the post section now come to the tbay footers and select the footer to edit our web plus websites footer over there you can edit all the footer settings over here you can change that to the custom font image etc you can change the demo contents over here once you finish all the settings make sure to save the changes you can change the logo image footer logo image and I'm adding the previously added image over there and click on save changes you can change the footer credits and click on save changes click on update now our footer layout has been changed and you can check it now everything works fine you can change everything on the footer section on the tbay footer now you can add testimonials brands etc etc and to do add a new product click on the product section click on add new product just add a product just adding a product you can add the price of the product description etc etc I'm just adding a variable product click on attributes and click on add and type the name of the product which is size and click on the variations over here and you select the use defer variation and select save attributes once you finish that click on variations and create variation from all attributes and click on go and click on ok now two variations which have been added has been came to here just add the product image or you can leave for the default image and you can add the regular price sale price etc for each variations here you can change the next variation here and click on save changes and you can type a short description for the product just type any description for your product and you can add a product image for the food I'm just adding a image for our product and set product image and select the category for the products click on add new category and type a category for the products once you finish that add the product tags over here
and once you finish everything just click on publish once the product is published you can check the product and you can check everything works yes everything works fine price also working and here ask a question means uh, to the vendor the customer can ask uh, about the product now we can add a simple product just click on add new and type a product name over here just type a product name and wait the system is loading and you can add the regular price over here you can add sale price for the product and you can schedule the sale price date and type uh, select the category tag etc as we did it for the variable product and set product image also there just type a short description anything you like and set a product image for the product or the food just click on upload files and upload the product image once you finish that just click on publish now our product has been published and check the product you have added now go to the user section and here you can change the usage password and all other details here just edit on there if a user need to change the password and contact you you can change by here for the user section you can change the user role also here and click on generate password and you can change your password according to your choice and click on update user now the user information has been updated now here on the page section you can create a new page for your website you can add restaurant list the spelling is incorrect just clear the spelling and type the short code all the short code I will be insert in the description box below you can add your short code here and click on publish like this you can change all other pages and go to your menu settings and click on create a new menu and you can add a new menu here and you can display this menu all these sections once you create a menu just select the menu sections
is selecting few pages for the menu click on add to menu once you finish that you can select where the menus has been shown just select the menus and once you finish that click on save menu now go to your website and just refresh and all other menus the settings has been changed and menu is an our new menu now we can change the menu label navigation label here just say uh, change to your desired navigation label once you finish that click on save changes save menu click on save menu and you can refresh your website and see the textures has been changed if you click on restore and registration the customer can add their website add their restaurant on your website click on let's go this is for the customers or the restaurant donors and they can do what we have done on our wordpress backend they can do on their front end website they can add logo their information on their front end and click on select they can add banners etc over here and they can add the location of their restaurant and choose their position on the map and they can add shop description etc and click on continue and here they can add the policy show policies over here just click on continue after that they can add the support setup and click on continue they can add seo options facebook setup twitter setup etc just click on continue after that they can add their social media accounts over here and just click on continue once you finish the restaurant donor you see like this a menu on their wordpress dashboard and they can add a new product over here just click on add new and we have done this on our wordpress backend the same thing the customer or restaurant owners can do here just click on finishing that just click on submit and their product has been published and the customer can go to their sub settings and there they can change all the settings here on the settings page
store our location etc once you finish that the customer can also add products from the store catalog which we have early added they can select and add their product just click on that and bulk add to my store once you finish that come to the product section and they can edit all the products which they have bulk added and click on edit and they can change all the details and click on submit once the product has been published they can change all other products like this Now go to your pages and click on restaurant list. Now we can see lot of websites here. And we can order the products from there. If you enable the auto filter option, it will be GPS enabled and it will show only the restaurant near to the user like Sugi and Tomato and select a product and they can order their food. Once the customer order a product a notification will come to the admin and same notification will go to the restaurant owners so they can prepare the food for the delivery so it's easy and the delivery app and the vendor app video will be on the next section so thank you for watching the video and if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment box below.